Okay, I'm zoomed in close here. We're taking the derivative of this function here. And I want to just take a look at it before we start because we need to de develop a strategy, not just jump into it and find out we're not doing the right thing. When I first look at this, I see a quotient rule problem. And then I look also, I think, well, you know, it's a pretty simple quotient rule problem that I could turn into a product rule problem if I want. Doesn't matter. My experience tells me most students prefer to work with product rule problems than they do quotient rule problems, which I think goes back simply to the fact that quotient rule implies the use of fractions and we hate them. So I will go ahead and rewrite this as a product so I can use the product rule. First of all, did I write that correctly as a product? I believe I did. So let's proceed with that. I forgot an f in there, interesting. So f of x equals e to the negative x over 3 times x to the negative 1 third. All right, product rule. This times the derivative of that. e to the negative x over 3 times negative 1 third x to the negative, what's that going to be, 4 thirds? Plus x to the negative 1 third times derivative of this, which is going to be e to the negative x over 3 times negative one third. Where did the negative one third come from here? Derivative of the exponent, very good. What you need to see, and some people don't, is that this is negative one third x. And the derivative of negative one third x is just negative one third. People see it written this way and it confuses them. Oh, do I need the quotient rule? Oh, that's complicated. It's negative one-third times x, and the derivative of that is negative one-third. And for the most part, I mean, that's, a, that's an acceptable answer. Let's clean it up a little bit. I mean, I can live with this. I can live with this as your answer. There's negative exponents here, 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 here. The problem started with a negative exponent, so I don't want to get too crazy trying to clean up negative exponents. The problem started with a negative exponent. That's why I want to say right off the bat, this is a fine answer. And you know what? I'm just going to stop right there. We're just going to live with this answer. Knowing that next year you could have a professor that's going to make you factor out an x to the negative one third, probably make you factor out an e to the negative x over three, and do some further uh, algebraic manipulations and gyrations. But we can live with this answer right here.